Hello everyone and welcome back to Jules Math Tools. In this session, we will be looking at angles on a straight line with polygons. And this is part three in my session with polygons and angles on a straight line. And in this video, we're looking at multiple angles when we're working straight lines and polygons. And if you wanna learn how to calculate your angles on a straight line with polygons, stay tuned. Okay, so we're calculating the measure of our unknown angle D. And in this lesson, we have multiple angles involved with our polygon and our angles on a straight line. And if you would follow my series so far on angles on a straight line, you saw how to calculate angles when there were no polygon, when we had terms, when we had expressions, and now we're calculating with a polygon with multiple angles. The only difference is a polygon is involved, but the steps are still the same. Remember that your angles on a straight line must all share the same vertex and be on the exact same straight line. So because all three of these angles all share the same vertex and they're all on a straight line, then that means that all three of these angles here all should sum to 180 degrees. So that means that my right angle, which is this box here, indicates that that is 90 degrees plus my 10 degrees plus D should all equal to 180 degrees. And just like we did before, we're going to sum the numbers that were given to us. So 90 plus 10 is 100 degrees plus D should equal to 180 degrees. And now we're going to take the angle 100 degrees and subtract it from my 180 degrees. And when 180 subtracts 100 degrees, we find that our angle D is 80 degrees. And again, if you want to perform that extra check, just to check your answer to see if everything is correct, then that is no problem. Remember to always perform your check if you feel you need it. So zero plus zeros is zero. 9 plus 1 is 10, and 10 plus 8 is 18. So we checked our angles to see that our answer that we got, which is D equals 80 degrees, is correct. Let's try another example. Feel free, pause the video, calculate the measure of angle E, and then when you're ready, unpause the video and see if I got the exact same answer that you did. Okay, so like we did before, we will be adding our 54 degrees plus my 27 degrees plus E will equal to 180 degrees. And just like we did before, we're going to be adding the two numbers that are given to us. And when we add 54 plus 27 degrees, we're going to be getting 81 degrees plus E should equal to 180 degrees. Now we will be subtracting the 81 degrees from our 180 degrees. And in subtracting 81 from 180 degrees, we're going to find that angle E is equal to 99 degrees. And again, let's check our answer to see if everything is correct. We will be adding 54 degrees plus our 27 degrees plus the 99 degrees that we got for angle E to see if they all sum to 180 degrees. So four plus seven is 11, 11 plus nine is 20. We'll put our zero, carry the two. Two plus five is seven, seven plus two is nine, and nine plus nine is 18. So we see that these angles do sum to 180 degrees, which means that my angle E is correct. Okay, so there you have it. We just calculated our angles on a straight line when we're working with polygons, when we're working with polygons and multiple angles. And we see that it's just as easy as calculating all the angles we did before. But remember that the best way is always to practice, watch the follow-up videos, and then review everything that we did so far. And until next time, 
This is Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy.